All right. Okay, so over the course of two weeks, a store that I usually go to, they had a sale. This sale was crazy. So the parameters were uh, anything that was $10 and under was 90% off. And anything over that was half. And then anything over $100 was like 30% off. So it was it was a crazy sale. So what are we starting with? Star Wars, Dawn of the Jetty, Force Storm, number one, second print. Okay, so this one, let's take a look. So this one, I believe, goes for a little bit more than the first print. And I believe the only difference is just that it says second print in the in the UPC or in the barcode. I believe that's it. Um, roughly goes for about fifty dollars. We got this for fifty. Actually, no, it was less than that. It was half. What's half off of fifteen? Thirteen? No, geez, seven fifty. <laughs> oh boy. So we got Star Wars: Dawn of the Jedi. Number one, second print for seven dollars and fifty cent. Another half off book. Black Panther number five, first appearance of Shuri as the Black Panther. Beautiful J. Scott Campbell cover. So we got this for seven dollars and fifty cents. Uh, this book has gotten really hot, and um, yeah, 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 yeah. It's uh, actually. It's gotten hot again. How about that? So uh, these books here, uh, this is about 75 books picked up over the course of two weeks and three different visits to this same comic book store. Okay, what's next? What's next? Ooh, all right. So we had some half off books. So let's get into the, let's get into some 90% off books and then we will do some more half off books later. Carnage hip hop variant. This is a take on Red Man's There is Dare Ease a Dark Side. Okay, all right, very cool, very cool. So this was a dollar. Wow, okay, this was a buck. I'll be damned. Okay, sweet. All right, what's next? We're moving on. What does this book go for? Maybe, I don't know, maybe a $20 book, maybe. All right, what's next? We got two copies of Deadpool number 52, first appearance of the Mercy Sisters. So these were a dollar a piece. Okay, I'm, I'm down with that. I'm not mad at that. It's funny because when you're, when I'm looking at the price tags, I'm thinking it's just, it's just so hard to wrap my brain around the fact that I'm only going to be paying like 10 cents for each of these so it's like i could have bought more but it was just it was hard i was having a hard time making it click that oh these are only 10 cents or this is only 20 cents or this is only 50 cents you know what i'm saying okay so we have unity number one this is the platinum edition i remember back in the day uh, to get a Platinum Edition Unity or Valiant comic. This was such a big deal. This was like finding gold or something like that. And uh, is it like finding gold anymore? Not so much, but this brings back nostalgic feelings. Unity, number one, Platinum. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at you, baby. Look at you. Hold on. Let's, uh... All right, sweet. I forgot to turn that off. But yeah, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Man, this, this is bringing back a lot of memories. Okay. What's next? We have another colored 90s indie book. Special edition. So we have Wildstar... Number one, I'm not quite sure why. Well, it was only a dollar. Wildstar Gold. Does anybody remember this character? Holy cow. He looks like, um, I, I, call, I call him Starfish Man because he has this, this, 
symbol on his chest is supposed it's supposed to like look like a scar but it just looks like a giant starfish that's why i can't take the character seriously but it's a gold it's a 90s you know what i'm saying eh, all right fine i'll buy it it's a dollar all right what's next amazing spider-man number six one three uh featuring this is a joe quinones cover featuring electro Okay, all right, there's a dollar. I don't know what this book goes for. Maybe, I'm thinking maybe a $15 book on a good day. Final, f final issue, let's say that in quotations, uh, of Uncanny X-Men number 544. All right, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, what did I want to say about this? Not much. Uh, there's a dollar. <laughs> I think this book goes for maybe... 20 or 30 on a good day oddly enough i'm not quite sure why but i know the second print goes for i, I want to say roughly a 50 dollar book and i can see you know lower print run but i don't know this feels a little bit too mass produced to warrant it being like a, a 20 to 30 dollar book we have some more x books we have x force i forget what year this is X-Force number one, Brian Hitch cover. This doesn't go for too much, but I don't know. I just, I like the cover and it was a dollar. Uh, we have some more X-Force. We have not one, not two, but we got three copies of X-Force number 125, first appearance of Dead Girl. All right. Okay. That was a buck. Uh, I forget who, what first appearance is this? What first appearance is it? I forgot. I've forgotten already. I remember scouring the globe, or rather the tri-state area, for Daredevil number 58, as it was the first appearance of some character, but I totally forget. I Okay, hold on, hold on. I believe it was the first appearance of the second White Tiger. I believe, I believe, I think, I think. But, uh, or the woman who would become the second white tiger, I think. I think. Something, something, Torres, something, something, Lopez, something, something. I don't know, but it's something, something to do with that. Okay. Next, we have Amazing Spider Man number 406. This is the first appearance of, first full appearance of Lady Dr. Octopus. And. You can kind of feel the the trading card is in here. The trading card is in there. So that was a dollar. I remember this book about a year ago. This was kind of doing a little something. Not so much anymore, but uh, for a dollar, why not? Sailor Moon number 25. This is a good cover. I'm not really into Sailor Moon all like that, but that's a good cover. So got that for a buck. Also, damn. Also for a dollar. We have Vampirella from 2010. This is a 2010 series. Uh, this is the Alex Ross cover. And we have the Jelena, Jelena Jurjevic. That is a good cover right there. Very good looking cover. Jelena Jurjevic. And we have Joe Madarara. Joe Madarara cover. And uh, what is this? Nightmare on Elm Street, number four. Good looking cover. Doesn't go for anything, but it was a dollar. All right. What's next? So we're going to do another half off book. Uh, G.I. Joe Storm Shadow, number one. This is a foil cover. I love this cover i'm i'm kind of trying to not buy i'm trying to i'm trying not to buy star wars books i'm trying not to buy gi joe books just because i'm just trying to you know thin the herd when it comes to those but i like this cover man this is a good looking cover uh so half of 25 is what 13 50 no 12 50 sorry so i uh, got this for 12 dollars 50 cents Maybe this is a $50 book, but this book is so clean, man. This book is hella clean. Sometimes just a simple design makes all the difference. So let's try to... Why is this not... Okay, there we go. Boom. Very clean book. 
as many of you know, <laughs> I am a comic book white supremacist. I love my comic book covers. Nice and white. <laughs> and this fits the bill. All right. What's next? What's next? Okay, now this is interesting. This is very interesting. So we're going to go to... So we jump from the $10 books that were reduced to a dollar. And now we're going to jump to the dollar books that were reduced to 10 cents. Okay. And then, then we'll work our way up. Okay. Profit number... I forget. What is this? Profit San Diego Comic-Con edition. Maybe it's a number one. I don't know. But let's see if there's a certificate on the back. No. But uh, I looked this book up, and this book is going for roughly, roughly $100. I, I, okay, so type in Profit SDCC 1995, and you'll see listings for, I, I want to say like 150 to 200 Those are buy it nows. Nobody's buying those. But there have been copies that have sold in the $100 range. So... Yeah, yeah, this is an interesting one. Uh, Stephen Platt cover. You know, not, not, nothing more to say about that. But yeah, this was interesting. Very interesting. Okay, what's next? Another 10-cent book. The Warriors, uh, Dabble Brothers. This is a previews exclusive cover. I want to say this is maybe a $30 book. Maybe. Okay, all right, okay. We have Batman Strikes number 43 and 45. I remember for a time these two books were really hot. I want to say these are maybe $15, $15 books right now. And I remember they were going for about $30 to $40 a few years ago uh, featuring Harley Quinn. All right, it's all good. It's all good. I like this one. I like this one. Just because you have the um, the the birds of prey, and then you got Batgirl kicking it with them. All right, okay, okay. No, not not the birds of prey, but the Gotham City Sirens. How about that? Yeah. So yeah. All right. Okay. So these were ten cents. Uh, another ten cent book, Bad Moon Rising, number one. This is a foil, a foil cover from our Edge Lords over at Avatar. And there's a certificate. I don't know why, but there is one. It's not signed or anything. Now, here's a, a couple of books that I really like. I freaking love, as a matter of fact. So we have The Nam, number 23 from Marvel. I believe, yeah, these are uh, 1989. So this one, so this one is a, what, an Andy Kubert cover. Okay, all right, okay. And, um, I don't know, nice, nice showgirl cover on number 23. And then you have a reversed engineered image of the famous, uh, scene of the, I believe it's a communist, communist fighter being executed. So, yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. They're, they don't go for too much, but they're very striking images, and for, you know, for 10 cents. All right. Another 10 center. Z Remember uh, about a year ago when this book was hot? Oh, boy. Zodiac, Dark Rain. <laughs> Friday the 13th, Bad Land. All right. Number one. Okay. This is interesting. These don't go for anything, but I like them anyway. So we have prototype number one. So on the, on your left, on your left is the Jim Lee variant. And then on the right is the Derek Robertson regular cover. But I, I don't know, they, these really don't go for anything. So, but at the same time, you know, I don't want to pass them up for 10 cents. You know, there's always, there's always hope, especially a Jim Lee variant. Why not? Uh, another 10 center. Witchblade Manga number five. Uh, this is a Wizard World Philadelphia variant. I, 
I want to say maybe this book goes for $15. I don't know. Betty and Veronica, number 83 from oh, uh, 2000, from 2008. Okay, all right, this is swimsuit cover. Rebels, number one from DC. This This is a variant. And I noticed a lot of those DC variants from the late 2000s, like I'm going to say mid to late 2000s, they don't go for anything. I, I noticed this, um, the Azrael variant, um, I believe there's a, there's, there's quite a handful of DC number ones from this time period here that just don't go for anything. I figured, eh, let me, I'll pull the trigger, you know, at 10 cents. <laughs> okay. We have multiple copies of Legion of Superheroes, Satana. This one, this one definitely doesn't go for anything. 13 Chambers. I just like the cover. I don't know who did the artwork on this. Can we see who? Is there a... Is that a... Is that part of the art? Or is that a... Eh, you know what? Let's, let's see who did the art on this. Let's see who did the art. Let's bring this bad boy to a grinding halt. Let's bring this video to a grinding, grinding halt. Okay. So, okay, here's the credits here. Let's try to fo focus. Focus, art, Dennis Medry, cover, Daniel Vasanova. Okay, all right, it's all good. It's all good. It's a good looking cover. It's kind of thick. It's like a thick cardstock cover. But yeah, 13 Chambers. Doesn't go for anything, but I like the cover. Whiplash, and finally, from the 10 cents, Whiplash number... Oh, Iron Man versus Whiplash. So this has to have been from 2010, around the time of the second Iron Man movie. And this features the first appearance of the second Whiplash. All right, we're going to do another half-off book. We have Danger Girl... Danger Girl, uh, the the affectionate nickname for this in the eBay listings is Chromium Agogo, and this book goes for roughly a hundred bucks. Actually, maybe even a little bit more than that. And don't worry, this is that little thing right there. That's part of the bag. That is not a flaw on the comic. Let's try to get close. This is a really nice, really nice looking J. Scott Campbell cover from what early to late nineties, early two thousands probably. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we got this for what's half of twenty five bucks, twelve fifty. Hell yeah, Danger Girl, Chromium variant. Good looking cover hell yes oh so the date on this is 1997 so definitely wow late this is a wow this is a fun cover okay all right i see you i see you okay what's next uh so we're gonna jump into two dollar books that were reduced to 20 cents and we have two copies of Cable Deadpool number 50. I remember when this book was really hot. I want to say this was maybe a $40, $50 book a few years ago. Uh, uh, this is this is a Scotty Young cover, by the way. This is a Scotty Young. Um, Marvel Zombies number one from 2015 ties into the Secret Wars crossover. Uh, I like this book. I really like this book. So we have Green Lantern, number 21. This is a combo pack, and it is still sealed. So this is the first appearance of this of a new crop of Green Lantern recruits, specifically a character named 2-6. Uh, it's a female uh, Green Lantern. And uh, this is a book that I've been specking on for, I want to say, about six months now. So uh, I was really thrilled to uh, find this in the uh, two dot for uh, 20 cents. 
All right, what's next? What's next? So we have a, a handful of death stroke books. So we have number 60, which is the final issue in the series, number 57, and number 55. These, uh, these actually are still pretty respectable as far as uh, price goes. I know, I think this one goes for about 20 and these can go for about, I don't know, 10 to 15 a piece. So yeah, Deathstroke number 60, good looking cover, white supremacist worthy cover for number 60. Uh, what's next? Uh, let's do some Anarchy Studios Vampy. All right, so we have... Oh, all of this is just out of whack. So we have uh, number... So let's start with this. So we have the preview edition, Harris Comics, and then we have... I forget what number this is. This is a Pat Lee cover. Uh, we have number 10. Uh, these are variants from what I remember. And uh, I, should, I, should, I guess I should have uh, written down who did the artwork on this. And then we have number 11. So, uh, you know what? I'm kind of interested in seeing who did the art for this. I'm interested. Because I like, I like, I like this cover. All right. So, anything, anything. Vampy number 10, limited edition. September 2001. Never forget. Uh, let's see. Let's see who did the cover. And as many of you know, I am a comic book white supremacist, but I'm also a black activist. And I can appreciate this black here, even though I'm putting a fingerprint. You know what? I don't want to. I'm done handling this book. Y'all look this up. <laughs> Y'all look this up. Okay, what's next? S S what is this? Static X. Static X. I believe this is from... Probably the 90s. It's a uh, Static X is a rock band, and I guess they made a comic book of the rock band. All right, whatever. Uh, 20 cents. This was 20 cents. Painkiller Jane. This is a um, uh, Joe Casada cover and a foil. And a foil. Is there a oh, certificate here? I'll pause it so you can read it. Oh, limited to 499 copies. All right, whatever. All right, it's all good. It's all good. Got it for 20 cents. Uh, another 20 cent book here. We have Witchblade number 87. Beautiful Adam Hughes cover. I'm surprised. Now, this book is tough to find out in the wild, but it's not that expensive. Uh, I think this book is maybe a $10, $15 book online. So, all right. Beautiful Adam Hughes cover. Uh, War Machine, number two. Second print. I don't know. I just, I bought it just because I like the cover. We have two copies of Spider Girl, number six. First appearance of Lady Hawk. I'm not quite sure why I bought these, but I'm showing them off. So we have, oh gosh, Sonic the Hedgehog number 146 and 134. I'm, again, I'm not sure why I bought them because I'm not a Sonic fan or like that. And I definitely ain't a Sonic comic fan. I think these go for a little something. And they're newsstands. And this one has a... um homage to um, asm number 50 eh, whatever whatever does anybody remember when this book was hot holy cow so we have what is this superman batman number 22 this is the i guess you can say the first appearance of batman beyond in dc comics continuity or dcu continuity and we have robotech Number 10 from Antarctic Press. This is a book that doesn't go for anything. And I was trying and I was waiting for the right copy to come along at the right price. 
Like, I mean, this is maybe, I mean, this is a dollar book, okay? Don't get it twisted. It's a dollar book, but I like the cover. Oops, excuse me. It's a dollar book, but I like the cover. And for 20 cents, I'm like, all right, let's go ahead and buy it now. Because <laughs> I've passed up so many, like, $3 copies. Even I've even passed up dollar copies. But for 20 cents, and it's a nice high grade, why not? All right, let's uh, show Wolverine some love here. Uh, we've got we've got three copies of Wolverine Origins number eleven. Uh, first, I believe first full appearance of Docking or whatever, something to that effect. Uh, Docking book, and then we have the first co first full cover appearance of Docking. Uh, we have one, two, not one, not two, not three. But uh, we have one, two, three, four. We have five copies of number 11. All right, it's all good. It's all good. We are staying on the Wolverine Origins train with number 21. The, I believe this is chronologically the first meeting between... Wolverine and Deadpool chronologically not like not even the like the the events of this book take place before Wolverine number 88 or this or it's supposed to something to that effect something to that effect so uh number 21 uh, a couple copies of number 22 uh, a copy of number 24 good looking Simone Bianchi covers and a copy of number 25 and for whatever reason the first appearance of deadpool is reprinted in this book for whatever reason not quite sure why and we're gonna stay with some wolverine and we we're doing another half off book we have wolverine number 66 the Old Man Logan storyline, Michael Turner variant. I sold this book a long, 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 long time ago, and I never thought I would come across a copy again, and I was wrong. Price tag on it was 80 so half of that is $40. So we got this bad boy for 40 bucks, and this thing is nice. This thing is very nice, so let's take a look. Beep boop, beep boop. Okay. Look at that. Nice. Is that a couple is that a couple of ticks right there? That's okay. That's okay. That's all right. For $40. I ain't kicking it out of bed. So yeah. Wolverine number 66, Old Man Logan. All right. Uh let's get into some a couple of four dollar books. We have Strange Academy, number 13, first appearance of I forget already. And Black Knight, Curse of the Ebony Blade with Elsa Bloodstone on the cover. All right, sweet. Okay, you know what? Speaking of Elsa Bloodstone, let's go into some $5 books and we'll talk about these. Okay, so I uh, came across a few copies of Deadpool number one. I believe this is from the 2020 series. I don't know, whatever. Whatever. There were a number of there were a number of variants with Elsa Bloodstone and Deadpool in the in this series here in the series number one. And this is the one that doesn't go for anything. And I mean anything. And it's odd because it just has it has all of the Marvel monsters. It's a David Finch cover. And it features, you know, features Elsa Bloodstone. And like I said, all the, you know, like the Marvel monsters. So I'm I'm kind of shocked this book doesn't, it, it hasn't moved the needle outside of it being cover price. You know what I'm saying? Like it should be like maybe a $10 book just off a of general principle. But yeah, good looking cover. Yeah, it doesn't go for anything, but for, okay, so these are, okay, so these here were 40 cent books and these here are 50 cent books okay sweet sweet all right five dollars reduced to 50 cents nightmare on elm street or geez sorry oh excuse me 
Friday the 13th, number two, Ryan Sook cover. This cover is hot. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, we got some more vampy. We got some more vampy from Anarchy. Uh, number seven and number nine. Uh, so this one is a Humberto Ramos cover. And this one is a, I forget, Benes, Benitez or whatever. Benes. All right. I these are I, these are what late nineties or something like that. Early two thousand. Yeah, early two thousands, late nineties. So this is so some of these books are early in a lot of these artists' careers. So yeah, yeah. All right, we're moving on. Do, 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 do. Wild Thing, number zero. Oh, shoot. Excuse me. Excuse me for that blur there. Wild Thing, number zero. Wizard. Um, I, I remember this book was really tough to find at one point in time. I, and I want to say this was maybe like a $15 book a long time ago. And probably not so much now. So the, the other daughter of Hulk. I mean, other daughter of uh, Wolverine. All right. It's all good. It's all good. I'm waiting for X-23 and Scar to hook up. <laughs> to piss off their dads. Um, uh, what is this? X-Force number nine. Good looking. Um, who? Ah, darn it. Choi cover. I forget the first name, but yeah, good looking cover. All right. Infinity number one. Adam Kubert cover. This is a, I forget what ratio this is. But it's a good looking, good looking variant. I, I figured I'd pick it up for 50 cents. Moon Knight number three. This was the hot book from a year ago. First appearance of Hunter's Moon. All right. Ooh, spooky blue. A couple copies of the first Lady Craven. This book was hot. How long ago? I don't know. Maybe a year, six months ago. I forget. Uh, not so much anymore. But for 50 cents, I'll pick it up. Uh, we have Black Panther 2099, first appearance of I Forget. And we're moving on. Wolverine Origins number five, Michael Turner cover. Beautiful cover. I was not passing up for 50 cents. Amazing Spider-Man number 503, first appearance of Loki's Daughter. I'm not quite sure what what i was thinking when i bought so many copies of this so we have spider-man unlimited number one i bought like like four or five copies i'm not quite sure why but i did and last but not least in this 30 minute video 30 plus minute video we have gambit from i believe the either late 90s or early 2000s i forget so oh uh, uh, 98 1998 series so we have Gambit, this cover. Who did this cover? Who did this cover? Uh, I don't know. This definitely looks like a... Who did this one? This looks like a, a Tim, Tim Bradstreet. And we have a... This looks like a... Madureira cover to me but whatever whatever there whatever you can look it up but that is what i picked up 75 plus comics and over the course of two weeks three visits three separate visits and uh i hope are you not entertained and uh yeah that's what i picked up and uh we'll see you next time because i'm hungry and it's time to eat and it's early in the morning all right uh we'll talk to you later and uh see you next time all right bye